Well, moments ago, Cleveland Clinic released data on what may prove to be groundbreaking research in stroke recovery. In a phase one clinical trial, the clinic found that deep brain stimulation is not only safe for stroke patients, it may also help them recover some function too. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us now to explain more, and this is, this is a big deal, Mon. It really is. You know, in the last two decades, we've seen deep brain stimulation, or DBS, help people with movement conditions such as Parkinson's disease, tremors, and epilepsy, even obsessive compulsive disorder. It involves surgically implanting electrodes into the brain that are attached to a power device implanted in the chest. Think of it like a pacemaker for the heart. The electrical impulses stimulate the brain cells to help fix issues. Well, Cleveland Clinic used it on a dozen people with upper extremity paralysis from stroke. So not only, again, did they show this procedure is safe, but it helped nine of the 12 get some movement back in their arms. Our hypothesis is really that what we're trying to do is promote uh, an environment where the brain can continue or re re uh, resume uh, its own recovery process. And we're trying to enhance that process. 70-year-old Stan Shipkoski of Parma was one of the 12 patients who received the treatment. After a stroke six years ago, he had to relearn how to walk, but his left arm was still paralyzed. After the DBS was implanted, Stan was able to use his arm again, and, it's, and he says it gave him his independence back. Now, this phase, it's called the EDEN trial. That's an acronym for Electrical Stimulation of the Dentate Nucleus for Upper Extremity Hemiparesis Due to Ischemic Stroke. We're just going to call it the Eden trial? Well, it was only meant to see if the procedure was safe. So what's important to understand was that physical therapy was also critical in helping these patients get their movement back. And unlike in other treatments, the device was removed so the brain could continue healing on its own. That's the, uh, the theory, Laura. Now that was a mouthful. Yeah, uh, seriously. I want to ask, did the patients get improvement as soon as they turned the device on? And if so, how long did that process yeah, take? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Stan told me it actually took a few months for him to get where he is now. He said it gave him about 40% of his movement back in his left arm, and we're going to hear more from him at 5 and 6. All right, Mon, thank you so much. We'll see you in a bit.